Things are finished now and dinner time is approaching. Many Amish mothers begin to gather their children and belongings and head for home, filled with the joy, gratitude, and satisfaction to have been a part of this wondrous event. It's now about 4 p.m and a new barn exists upon the same ground where the old one burned down. Many of the Amish women who don't need to get home immediately wait for their husbands to finish. Everyone is both thrilled and amazed at what has taken place over the last nine hours right before their eyes. Tired and ready for dinner, faced with their own chores at home, the men and families gradually begin heading for home, many on foot, some by horse and buggy. There's planting or milking or reaping or repairs to do of their own, all part of the work of a life close to earth, close to friends, family, and neighbors. Make the Amish a people who are peaceful in body, spirit, and mind, thankful for small essential graces and tender mercies, and for a lifetime of devotion that one may offer to God. A barn raising such as this is not a common event. The average Amish man or woman will usually participate in two or maybe three throughout their entire life. Because of this, many stay until the very end, watching the finishing touches and final trimmings being put in place. This is truly a day the Amish and English as well will cherish in memory for many, many years to come. That's the real thing, that's... 